is Hopping Squad, it's your boy Just Sammy, and welcome back to another build video. Now, today I got a fun build for you guys. Now, I know a lot of people love blowing stuff up, right? We love the demolitionist, uh, the specialist weapon is fun to use, this, that, and the third. I made an explosive build, which was based around the Merciless uh, in World Tier 4, but now I made another explosion build that's not based around Merciless, it's actually based around your skills. And you're gonna love it so without further ado let's get into it so first things first you're gonna be running the demo class obviously you get explosive damage no questions asked um, that's the only way you're gonna run this if you're running it this way um, the talents are very specific um, for me and why I run it any gun you can use it depends on whatever you like um, I just have a showstopper or uh, ACS 12 if you want to call it right here just for the talent rooted while equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by 25% for 10 seconds. Buff is lost when exiting cover, can occur once every 25 seconds. So basically, you get in cover and you get a damage boost for your skills, which is going to be really good and it's going to synergize with this build. Um, you can pretty much get this on whatever. So depending, hopefully, if you have a really good gun like 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 how I have my M29, um, I wish I had rooted on here because then that's the main gun I'm using anyway, so you don't have to switch. But it doesn't matter because once you get in cover, it's going to proc anyway. So uh, make sure you at least have one weapon with rooted on it. Um, for your secondary gun, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You're not really relying on holster talent. So I, I'm not going to say like run a chatterbox or pestilence or anything. Um, just run something you like. Preferably, you want to have your gun god rolled to the point where you have rooted on your gun. But if you don't, run a gun that you're going to be doing damage with. In this sense, I would say run LMG because you get the most damage output. Since you're not going to be running full damage specs, you want to be able to get that damage somewhere and LMGs have such a high base damage plus they get buff from demo that's going to be the best way to run so I have my regular LMG on so going into uh, my sidearm try to make sure you have in rhythm so while equipped the kills have a 5% chance to refresh all active skill cooldowns just it's just good to have anything that going towards the skill cooldown is going to be good for you so getting to the build itself so I opted to go for a China light industries mask um, and Try to get as much cooldown reduction as possible because even if you're not in full sequence with the skills, you still want to have uh, a, a lower pool to um, take the cooldown from instead of having to worry about having 150 plus second cooldown. So try to get cooldown reduction and, and skill power if you can, just in case you're going to lock some mods. Um, I, I got a China Light match just so I can get that quick explosion damage. Um, nothing too fancy right here. And I have Destructive for additional 20% explosive damage. What's cool about this is even in normalized, this doesn't go down. So if you, you want to use this in PvP, um, nothing really changes as far as explosive damage. So that's something good to look forward to. Um, going to the chest, I have an Alp Summit chest with skill power and destructive on it as well. Um, obviously, I'm running Alps because I get the cooldown reduction and the skill power. So um, I have three on utility slot. I have a, a skill power with seeker skill power. And I also have a defensive with health and bonus armor just for a little sustainability. Going down to my holster, I have a skill power holster, a Providence, 14% um, cooldown reduction, 357 skill power. Um, doesn't really matter about the offensive protocol. You can put whatever you want there. Just try to have this because you get that 10% skill power and you need somewhat skill power um, to have at least some mods activated. Going to the backpack, this is where the build starts kicking in itself. Uh, it's Alpsum and backpack. Uh, I, I can have anything because I don't really care too much about the high skill power. So... I will probably opt into something else if I can, but I have the role that I wanted, which is basically having skill power and then having skills on it. So this is one of the most underused talents that I personally see in people's builds. So I'm like, here I am being a little bit different. Skill kills have a 25% chance to reset skill cooldowns. This is good to have, even though it's a gamble, it's still, it, it pays off in the long run, especially when you're farming and you're just in the zone and you're farming, going crazy. You're not going to pay attention to this and it's going to just proc and you're not even going to realize it. And it's really good because it resets your skill cooldowns. And that's what you want with this build, being that you're going to be running explosions. I also have Destructive on this as well, a skill power mod um, to up my skill power. And going to my gloves, another skill power glove with explosive damage. As you can see, there's a common thing here. I have four spec into um, Destructive. So that's 80% explosion damage, which is going to opt perfectly for what I'm about to tell you. And the knee pads, this is the other part of the build. Calculated kills from cover, reduce skill cooldowns by 20%. And the beautiful thing about this talent is it's not specific so any kill whether you beam them with your lmg or a seeker hits or your artillery hits anything goes towards that cooldown and basically four or five kills and you're gonna have your skills back no matter what not including um what you get from the the chance of in rhythm or from what you get from skills uh so 
it's it's there's a lot going on here as, as far as cycling through your skills, especially when you're solo. This works best when you're solo because you have all the kills to yourself. So just put it out there. Definitely still works in groups too, but it definitely works ten times better in solo because you get to like wreck everybody. So um, yeah, so like I said, I have cooldown reduction on here as well. You can see I opted in for as much as possible um, because you want to have those little cooldowns because even when you let like let's say you have a, a, a pool of 150 seconds, you have to get way more kills. It feels like to get that um, that skill cooldown reduction. Um, may, maybe there's some times that you have like 13 seconds left and you get a, a kill and you're back at back you at your skill. So make sure you try to have as much cooldown reduction so that you don't have to worry about having to get five kills to get all of it back. You can probably get one or two kills sometimes and you can have your skill back. So depending on how you have your roles and going down to the skills. Now this, the beauty about this build is let's say you just don't like explosions. This can work with any skill setup you like. If you like the, the freaking sniper turret, if you like the insanity turret, if you like defender drone, with this setup, all you have to do is just change some roles. Like honestly, I'm probably gonna mess with another version where I'm not going to rely on any explosions, so I'm probably going to change all these to, like, capacitive so I can get duration and probably just, like, ride out that way and try different types of skill setups. But for for the, for the sake of this video, um, I'm showcasing the explosion one, which, to me, is, is, the, is the most fun because you, you don't get to use Seek Your Mind as much as you would want to or uh, your artillery as much as you want to because cooldowns are so ridiculous, so this kind of negates that. So um, going into what I chose, I chose artillery turret. Um, like I said, your stats will vary from here depending on what mod you got. I do not have any really like realistically super super good mods for this, so I just have extra mortar ammo right here. And you can see I I, I can't access um, my bottom ones, and I only have one anyway, so it's not too much anyways. And who cares? Health is really not that important. Take this from a person that runs skills. Health on skills is it's just that's not too much of importance unless it's a drone. So just putting that out there. Um, I have a little 7.2 damage and uh, extra more ammo. So some of you guys may have 30, 40% mods that can make this hit 10 times harder, but this is just what I have. So um, I opted to go for that artillery and I also opted to go for, of course, a seeker mine. And what's cool is I have a 20 second cooldown that really feels like five seconds because when you're in a battle and you kill somebody, that's 20% taken off of that 20 second cooldown not including the time it takes you to get that kill, which by the time, I would say every two and three kills, you will always have your Seeker Mind. And there, there's points that I even played that I didn't even really have the chance to really realize that I had it, and I was just holding it, so that's real cool. Um, as you can see right here, if you, if you go on my mods, I actually have a pretty decent mod for my low skill power. I have a 21% damage, and I also have a 16% damage, as well as a 19% cooldown reduction. So try to put at least one cooldown reduction on here, and then the other two damage, and you'll be good to go. Uh, and you can see the damage hits it's almost 440. It's almost 500 K bro. So every what six, seven seconds, you'll be able to put that out. That's a lot of damage, bro. Um, so going into the, the gist of the bill, how it's supposed to work. You are meant to stay in cover. Um, I, I know a lot of people don't like being in cover, but this is a hunker down and barrage type build. You're going to be in cover because you want to be able to proc. First of all, you want to be able to proc rooted, which gives you extra damage. You want to be in cover because obviously having right here, if you go to this, kills from cover gives your kill, uh, kill uh, skill cooldowns and you want to be safe because you can't just like run and gun and go crazy if, if you're going to run like that because you want to have your artillery aimed correctly as well. I'll go right here just so you guys can see um, if you didn't really pay attention to the intro. The artillery works interesting. Um, you, you can't really use it indoors, so this is probably better to run outside, but if it's close enough, you can see you could just kind of like press in and close for you. You can do that all without leaving cover. So you, this build can technically be played without even like running around or anything. You just sit in cover and just sit in the back. The range is pretty crazy. The, you get the AOE. You're going to have your secret cooldown, and you're going to have a lot a lot of damage being put out all the time. So, um, yeah, so you guys can just get the idea of that. So I would run this build more solo base. There are ways to probably run this in, in, in a team, but I don't. I don't think it's going to be as crazy effective as it is going to be solo. Yes, there's going to be chances if, if your teammates are smart and, you know, leave the little mobs for you to finish so you can get your kill cooldowns, you'll be good. But ultimately, solo play, you get guaranteed every kill anyways, and it's just going to keep, it's going to be like a giant cycle over and over and over between these two skills. And if you want to, you can change it up easily. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. just wanted to share this with you guys. This is one of my, um, like, offline builds I was just messing with. Uh... When, whenever you guys see me stream, you, you know, you, you see me use one of my main builds. This is one of the ones I just kind of held, 
held in the back of my mind, you know what I'm saying? But I feel somebody will probably appreciate this, especially somebody who's been looking for something to use the artillery because I, I you just don't see it. I just don't see videos of people using artillery. This is probably the best way, I think, as of right now, to fully have fun with it because it's one, you're basing a lot of explosion damage, which is as the strongest you can get, and two, you're going to be able to use it as often as you possibly can. Um, I have a skill cooldown build, as you guys saw, and even that does not bring back the, the turret as fast as this build does because this build is based around um, getting those kills with those explosions. So you'll, you'll be good to go. And not only that, since you're running demo, don't forget you're going to be able to get ammo for your signature weapon because um, every one of these, every kill you do outside your LMG is going to be considered explosive kill, which is the way to get your demolitionist ammo, which can lead to some crazy, crazy setup. So um, yeah, if, if you guys really want to go crazy with explosion, you can probably slap on a, like like a merciless and probably you know just go full fledged explosion if you want to um, if if you ended up upgrading yours or you still have one so just putting that out there hope you guys enjoy man this is a fun build to use this is a, a, a nice little relaxing chill sit back and just you know barrage enemies while you're farming on your off time um, it's it's not really designed for PvP. Um, because as, as much as you want to hunker down somewhere, I still feel like agents move too fast to be hit with artillery anyways, but you can do it. Um, it will hurt a lot. Uh, you, if you, if you're in a situation where you're killing NPCs and a lot of players are rushing you and you can send your seekers and your seekers are going to hit regardless, seekers are going to take their, probably take off most of their armor anyway. So, um, it, you can work it into that. So don't, don't be afraid to try it in PVP, but it's just not made for that you know so any build can be transcribed either way but i just designed this more so for for pve because you're gonna be killing npcs you're not gonna kill players as fast as you're killing regular mobs so yeah that's pretty much it love y'all appreciate y'all hope you guys enjoy this man i'm just throwing this out as a little bonus build video uh for people who've been looking for this kind of thing and like i said it is interchangeable i'm probably gonna make a, a even crazier build with the same concept utilizing these two skills because calculated plus skilled um is really, really strong and i'm also investing like like some of my time into uh I f I don't, here it is right here into tech support so if you really wanted to switch it up you can probably put on tech support and do the same thing just way more damage so if you want to if you want to interchange it skilled would be a good thing to roll off because it is way more gamble and at least you're guaranteed damage if you get a kill running um tech support so um, that's just another good little thing to throw in there. So maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see something with this build um, a little bit in the future. So like I said, hope you guys enjoy it, man. Let me know what you guys think. What would you change? What would you do? Do you think this is a, a pretty dope build? Pretty, pretty nice concept uh, within the, the, the build world. So it's been real. Hopefully I didn't ruin the game. <laughs> Your boy is out.